Hello everyone, my name is Daryl from Big Truck Parts. I'm just going to show you what we do in our world of building trucks. We've never done the video thing before for YouTube. We've decided to have a go at it and let you guys see what we can and can't do. And this is my young fella here, young Michael. How you going? He's my son. He's been with me for 15 years in the industry. I personally have about 45 years of trucking and automotive history of building and repairing. We get right into the show stuff. We love it. We love the industry. We love the big trucks. It's a bit of a real thrill for us to make some nice stuff and show it and win shows. So we've decided why not show you guys what we do and uh, hopefully in enjoy what we do. Hopefully we can get the videos right. It's our first crack at it, so just bear with us. I'll show you a little bit of this one, what we're doing with this uh, cow taxi as we call it. Um, hopefully you'll like it. So to start with, young mix in here, he's stripping the interior out. We're going to fit some roof lights, uh, rewire a bit of gear inside it, jazz it up. Full roof spray. Full paint. The cab is basically fairly extensively stripped at the moment. Everything out of it. We do it complete, like top to bottom. We make sure everything's out of the cab so the paint's correct and there's no problems with it. We want everything to be really spot on when it's finished. So as you can see, uh, around the front of this one, it's a little Isuzu twin cab. Most of the bits are off, we're in the, in the stages of stripping it. And then also we're building a visor for the front of it. And I'll just give you a bit of a look, making some brackets, positioning some brackets for this truck, and made up a little bit of a template for the, uh, the sun visor. That's just to get us off to a bit of a start to know how it's all going to fit up, which it should be nice when it's done. And then uh, we move around to the other side of it and see where we're at with it. As I said, fairly well stripped. Not completely yet, but we do everything in a little bit of an old school way sometimes. We make sure we everything's hand done. We don't use a lot of hand uh, air tools because we don't like to destroy things. Everything we want good when it's done. And over here at uh, the workbench, I'll give you a little bit of an insight into some of the bracketry and stuff that goes into the divisor. Intricate work, fiddly work like bracketry and stuff we have to make up but uh end of the day all this gear takes time and finished should fit very nicely so all right see what you think of that and uh we'll, if you're happy you guys are happy we'll make another one and we'll just see you next time